Hi, boys and girls. My name is Professor Frey, and I teach English at Lone Star College Tomball. I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite book, and it's my son's favorite book too, Nuffle Bunny 2 by Mo Williams. Let's get started. One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy and then I'll show Meg and... Then I'll show Margo and then I'll show Jane and then I'll show Leela and then I'll show Rebecca and then I'll show Noah and I'll show Robbie and then I'll show Tashi and then I'll show Casey and then I'll show Connie and then I'll show Parker and then I'll show Brian and then Trixie was excited because she was taking her one of a kind Nuffle Bunny someplace very special. Come on! Trixie couldn't wait to show Nuffle Bunny to Mrs. Greengrove and all her friends in pre-K. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sonia. Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny wasn't so one-of-a-kind anymore. The morning did not go well. Knuffle, knuffle, nuffle, nuffle. The afternoon was worse. See what happened? When the school bell rang, Mrs. Gringo returned the nuffle bunnies. And the day got better. Then before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, devoured her dessert, and brushed her teeth. And tried to escape the mommy and daddy robots from planet Schnark. That looks like a fun game. And half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in ready for sleep. But a few hours later, Trixie realized something. Trixie marched into her mommy's daddy's room and said, there she is holding it, that is not my bunny. Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. was. He asked, can we deal with this in the morning? Trixie's daddy went to get the phone. Before he made it down the stairs, bring the phone rang. We have your bunny, said a man's voice on the other end. We have yours, replied Trixie's dad. Arrangements were made. And there they are going out into the dark. Trixie and her dad rushed across the neighborhood. Sorry. Trixie did not want to be late. Neither 
did Sonia, and there she is on the other side of the monument. There was an exchange, and the Nuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. They both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back. And at the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. The end.